Hey guys, I want to do a quick video, um, talk about the fire performance, which I'm a part of now, and a little update on the build. Um, the company's making supercharger kits now that we got pretty much set in place. As you can see, mine's just waiting for it. I put the uh, coolant reservoir in. So once again, like I said, this is the fire. That's who I'm partnering with now, with Monty and John. And here's the kits that you can see that we are putting together for everybody to have the same setup on a 5.7, a 6.1, and a 6.4. Now the price ranges are very depending on what stage you wanna do. We're trying to do like a stage one through basically five, I believe is what we're talking about. So that's another thing that if you got questions, please hit Monty up because he's more of the, uh, the businessman than I am. I kind of just like putting stuff together and come up with ideas with John. Now, a little spoiler, we are in the works of making a kit that will fit on a 5.7 truck block and in the DS and DT style trucks. So hopefully within the next, by the end of the year or so, we should be got something in the works as far as a mock-up and a some kind of kit to help you guys out pricing like i said that's going to be a monte deal because i don't want to tell you the wrong thing and get you guys upset you guys have been great followers and i appreciate you guys following me through with the build and everything so as you can see there's my pump and intercooler which is the same intercooler and pump that they're offering in the kit um, we are making our own pulley setup, which I don't have mine here right now. They have it because they're doing the mock-up. The plates that you guys saw and the bearings and everything will be good to go. So, like I said, they're making, these are our own custom. And let me see if I can find, oop. I don't see the pulley adapter plate, which might not be completed yet, but it'll be a part of it. And then custom valve covers, which is where you can put the oil and everything in there. And they're not as tall as the Hellcat, so you're not going to have clearance issues like I do on this side. As you see how high they stick up on both sides. But like I said, once again, you know, if you guys got any questions, I am doing my best to answer comments on here. And if you want to leave your email, I can get back to you in the email and then eventually call you. Like I said, my Instagram's been hacked, so I just don't need it right now. I'd rather do YouTube and focus on that, helping you guys out with builds or questions. And if I don't have the answers, John and Monte got answers too. John's a great uh, performance guy that has loads of knowledge. So I'm sure between the three of us, we can find an answer for you and hopefully get something going. Um basically i'm just waiting for them to get all the blueprinting and everything done so i get my blower back should be sometime this week and then drop her on do a crank up and break in for 500 miles and go straight to the tune shop um, if you guys like i said got any questions you know my build you know what i'm doing um, i did a tire video so hopefully that helped you out and go from there. I did learn something though. Um, kind of be careful with the uh, the intake you uh, pick. Don't get a, uh, a oil filter or oil base filter. Get like a paper filter for your um, air filter. Because you gotta remember that stuff as it sucks in, it's going inside the blower. So if it's got oil on it and that oil gets sucked into the blower, it might have some issues. Um, my my boss was teaching me that this past week we've been going over some things so that's what i've been working on but once again guys if you got any questions feel free to hit me up thanks for watching